So the first thing I'm going to do is roll my sleeves up because I'm going to be sweating. So this is my hair out of the shower. It's like rat's tails and it's horrible. So <laughs> just towel dried it a bit and I'm going to give it a quick blast with a hairdryer. It's still a little bit too wet to use with a volumizer. So I'm just going to blast that dry and then we'll be ready to roll. Tea break. So while my hair's still slightly damp, I'm just going to spray the ends with some sea salt just to uh, give it a little bit of texture. Otherwise my hair is just dead straight, as you will see when I uh, blow dry it. So just run that through and then I'm going to give it a brush through with my wet brush. If you haven't got one of these and you suffer with tangly hair, I highly recommend it. It saves me so much time after I've washed my hair than just a regular hair brush. I'm sorry if the lighting's in and out. It's, what time is it? Quarter past three in the afternoon and obviously the um, light doesn't last long at this time of the year so apologies about the lighting. want to get a ring light, if anybody uses one can you please let me know the best one to get because I want to get rid of my big soft boxes because they just take up so much room so if anybody knows a decent ring light, I mean I found them on eBay but do you ever trust eBay? I don't know. So that is my hair straight, I look like Gollum but <laughs> We're going to sort it. So what I do is usually section my hair into four sections. So I grab the underneath section first and tie up the rest. And then I will just clip it just to keep it out of the way. Oh, she says. Right, so now we're going to go in with the Revlon hairdryer. And oh, I'm so in love with this thing. The only thing I would say, if a bit of a design flaw, was... It thickens at the bottom and it makes it really bulky to hold on to. It kind of hurts my hand after a while, if I'm completely honest. Um, but other than that, I love it. I just think that this is probably the battery or something, but it this should just be the same width all the way down because it makes it quite bulky to hold. I mean, it, it is massive anyway, but because I love it so much, I can kind of look past that. So it's not a huge issue, but bear that in mind. The three settings, a cool setting, a... Um, warm setting and an extra warm setting. Well, I'm not a hairdresser or anything, I will put that out there now. <laughs> um, some hairdressers are probably watching this thinking, oh my God, what the hell is she doing? But it's just the way that I've kind of done it since uh, getting this, so. Uh, and it seems to work, it gives me real smooth hair, so. I won't talk through me doing it because you won't be able to hear me, but basically I'm just grabbing a few inches thickness of hair and wrapping it round and pulling it through and holding it up to my roots so and then kind of unraveling it as we go like that so nothing technical and I imagine that isn't how you do a blow dry but that's how I've been using it so I'm gonna get cracking <laughs> That is my first layer dry. As you can see, it creates so much volume. I find if you um, spin it up and hold it to the root of your hair, it really lifts it at the root. I struggle with that with loads in my hair. I've got really fine hair, but there's a lot of it. And as I did at the start, I used a hair dryer to kind of blast it dry. You don't need to do that. You can just towel dry your hair. But I um, didn't wring it out and I didn't towel dry it properly. So <laughs> I thought rather than sit there trying to towel dry it for ages i'll just give it a quick blast if you're going away for instance and you want to take one hair dryer then you can just use this as a hair dryer and kind of like brush it through your hair i'm going to go in with my second layer now and dry that off <laughs> So that's my second layer dry. As you can see, there's so much volume around the ears. It really lifts it. I love it. So I'm going to crack on and do the rest and then show you the top layer. So I've sorted my part in and now I'm going to move on to my top layer. Um, it's dried out quite a bit, to be fair, since I started. So always a bonus. I'm going to work from the back and move forward. <laughs> And 
with my front sections I will kind of make a bit of a kink like that so I pull the brush back round and the hair to the side. Does that make sense? I hope so. You'll see what I mean. So we've got the finished look. It's so smooth and it's got so much volume. I absolutely love blow drying my hair. It's probably not the proper way that hairdressers do it but it works for me <laughs> and that at all makes it really easy so if you're useless at blow drying like me then um, I definitely recommend getting your hands on that and I just love it it's given me so much volume I really want my hair cut off to there make a great Christmas present as well if you're after something for somebody that is into doing their hair or wants a little bit of a hair switch up then it's a real good gift Revlon are actually letting one of you guys win one of these so comment below um, make sure you subscribe to this channel uh, comment telling me why you'd like one and head on over to Revlon social media make sure you follow their Instagram as well they're always posting pictures of Michelle Keegan as well which I love because she's my biggest girl crush ever I'm gonna curl my hair now just because I'm going out tonight and I promised you guys a full hair routine but that is it with the volumizer and hair dryer and as you can see super sleek all it needs now is just a good colouring and cutting and it would look like I came from the salon. <laughs> so I'm doing exactly the same thing, set it, section it off into four sections. It's got some battered old straighteners, but they work a treat. I'm sure everyone knows how to curl their hair, but I've had a few requests asking how I do mine. So basically I just take the same section, the size that I was blow drying it, put, point the straighteners downwards, clamp them down, curl and pull through, but it just creates the perfect curl and I tend to pull on it a little bit just so it's not so up there like a drag queen. <laughs> and then I will do that all the way around my hair. I feel like I haven't spoke to you guys in ages, I don't just come on here and chat anymore, but yeah there's quite a lot to catch you up on. I don't know whether to do it in this video because it's going to be really long, but let me know if you uh, would like a like catch up kind of video, I don't know. I've never got time to film anything anymore. I know everybody wants a rant and I'm really sorry, I have got one in mind but it's just finding the time to do it. So yeah, that's my bottom layer. And then I'm just gonna go through my layers and do the exact same thing. It's not rocket science at all. I'm sure if you picked a pair of straighteners or a curling wand, you could create the exact same look. Sorry about Betty, she's snoring her head off. I always start at the back as well, so I know that I've got that um, curled, because I've been out before without the back of my hair curled and it's not a good look, so. <laughs> Starting at the back and just, like I said, it's some, I have to twist that twice now, because my hair is longer. I'm sure if you were a pro, you could do this with the Revlon hairdryer as well, but like I said, I'm, I'm not a hairdresser, I can just blow dry my hair straight and that's it, I can't do a curl. <laughs> so that's where the straighteners come in. If I'm looking up here it's because I've got my um, dressing table behind there just to make sure it's all going to plan. Whether or not it is, I don't know. I sometimes twist up at the roots and away because it just gives them even more vol volume and then pull down through it and as you can see they stand up a bit more there top sections I make sure are really curled properly. There's nothing worse than a load of straight hair sticking through. I like to take quite a big chunk at the front and curl backwards otherwise you've got two little sections that, with really thin curls and I don't like that look so. I'm just going to go back through and find some straighter sections and recurl them. Scrunch them up a bit. I've ruined all my lovely straight hair. <laughs> And then I usually flip a section from the front over onto the other side. So I've got a bit of a side parting because I'm not a huge fan of a dead straight parting, if I'm honest. And then I'll go back into that side where it's uh, flipped over and just create a curl at the top because it's flat there from underneath. And then the same on the other side. Because obviously the curl go in a different direction so I want it all the same. And then that is basically it. I just wait for it to fall a bit. I usually do this quite early in the morning so I don't go out 
looking like a clown. Um, it's usually dropped a bit by then. And I'll just go back in. You can titivate it as much as you want. And that's about it to be fair. Obviously it looks different every day I do it because some days I've got more time than others. But I just tend to grab some hairspray, wax them up under the roots and all over the curls. It all big and bouncy and then that is about it. Don't really do much to it so um, yeah that's my hair. Check out the Revlon hair dryer. I'm not being paid or anything to say it, I was just sent it to see if I liked it and I do so I thought I'd feature it um, in my hair routine because I've been using it quite a bit recently. Like I said there's a giveaway so if you want to win one comment down below. Yeah hope you like it guys, hope you're all well. I will see you all in my next video. Bye!